what is going on guys i am here we're talking about ty jerome if you guys haven't heard mike conlon just got traded to utah jazz go peep that video hit the like button subscribe and hit the notification bell so comment down below what do you think about ty jerome let's hop into it either way ty jerome is probably gonna be a late round late first round pick probably to you know a team that he'll probably just ride the bench 76ers i don't know why i keep coming in my head made the raptors He's compared to Grievous Vasquez, ideal size for the point guard with a 6'5 frame, passing is better than most combo guards, entering the draft, averaging 5.4 assists in his junior season. Plays with incredible efficiency, quick decision making ability, efficient 3 point shooter, shooting nearly 40% over his career. One of his biggest strengths is his lockdown defense, using his size to his advantage when guarding both on and off the ball. He is lengthy enough to guard multiple positions, great awareness that allows him to be offensive players to the spot, uses hesitation moves to get into the lane, can effectively score at the rim with either hand, one of the best spot up shooters in college basketball, fouls at a very low rate, handles the ball incredibly well, Turn, uh, turns the ball over for less than 15% of the possession. Despite a lack of athleticism, he is a big time shooter that creates plays for himself and his teammates. Makes up for his physical shortcomings with great intangibles. Shows the ability to make those around him better. Plays with a lot of confidence and swagger. Has a competitive edge and knocks down shots in tough moments. Raises his level of play in big situations. Reliable free through shooter, hovering around 8% over his college career. Solid rebounder for a point guard at four per game and can post up on smaller players. So now his weaknesses. Possesses less than ideal physical tools that I've mentioned, lacks the speed and athleticism that is prominent in the NBA, he's often slower than every ACC guard he has competed against, has a difficult time creating separation on offense, struggles to keep up with extremely quick players on defense, his subpar athleticism will likely be exposed at the next level, often shoots shot up, shot like spot up shots that aren't great, you know, like usually always good, but he needs better like shooting off the dribble if he wants to succeed he shoots usually just spot up like always spot up jumpers he needs to add some strength and muscle doesn't have as high of a ceiling as most of the prospects entering the draft because of his low athletic ability so overall while ty, ty jerome's below average speed and athleticism will likely prevent him from being a standout player in the nba he has the mental makeup to succeed he has enough awareness and high iq that is capable of snagging a starting point guard spot or running the second union Project to be a solid backup who can score, defend, provide much needed energy off the bench. So, like me, Matthew Delavadova, Grievous Vasquez, Virginia's running the NCAA tournament, certainly signs many doubters um, like they did, and he became a first round pick because of it, honestly. So, that's about it. I want to hear your guys' opinion down below. What do you think of him? You know, Matthew Delavadova type player, Grievous Vasquez, just good energy, hustle guys with not a lot of athleticism. You need them in the league, but, you know, they're just not superstars. But that's been all it, guys. I want to hear your opinion down below. As always, hope you guys have a great day, because I know I will. Until next time, guys. Peace out.